Why would anyone ever see a TikTok money glitch and run straight to the bank? No, a set is heavy. It is lined up. No, this is elephant. No, only landed. It's safe to say this TikTok money glitch just ruined so many people's lives as for some reason people think it's a good idea to try a TikTok money glitch. Now you may be asking, what is this glitch? Well, the short version is it's check fraud. And if you are dumb enough to actually do this, you will be financially ruined and likely go to jail for this. But there are a handful of scams going on currently. The main money glitch people are talking about is there's apparently some glitch in the Chase banking app where you can deposit a large check that is bad. And then you have a short time limit to actually withdraw the money in cash from the ATM before the check is cleared. And I guess absolute idiots, they're doing this on their own accounts. And then you have other people who are naive enough and didn't know better to let scammers do this to their accounts. But clearly the bank started to crack down on this and ended up freezing all the accounts involved with these shady transactions. As here you have a Chase customer getting their accounts frozen while trying to do the money glitch. Oh, I know it. I told you. I told you. Bro, I knew it. Do my ATM, bro. Chase. I knew that. What Chase? Chase. I guess in 2024, people are just posting videos angry because Chase Bank won't let them steal money from them. Honestly, this whole clip just gives off the energy of this viral clip. Hi, right, sir. I'm here to pick up your daughter. Absolutely not. Ugh. Aww. Chase Bank won't let me overdraft my account by 10 grand because that's what ended up happening when the checks finally cleared and they had already taken out the cash. What is my life? What is my life? Why do I have 11,000 missing from my bank account? Is this like humorous to you guys? Like, do you, yeah, is, this, is this a kiki ha 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 moment for y'all, bro? I work very hard for my money. Tell me why I, I, I check my bank account after I hear all about this, about this Chevy Chase whatever. I'm missing eleven thousand from my Chase account. My, I don't need. I, I don't know whether to feel sad or to feel mad, bro. I, like, I'm in shock right now, but I have goosebumps like all over my body. Like, I, I, I don't know what to feel, bro. Is this how a crash out starts? Like, I dead want to drive my car through a goddamn McDonald's and say Fuck it all, but this is like eleven thousand from. But why, why, why would this is? Is this funny? This is not cute, bro. This is not demure, bro. What is this, bro? Dead ass. Demure has been a popular word for like one month and I'm already over it. Is committing check fraud at Chase Bank brat or demure? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like that's the new flavor of brain rot content that's currently circulating on Instagram because the other day I pulled an Instagram reel that said something around the lines of, is Sonic the Hedgehog demure or brat? And at that point, I just turned off the whole phone. But I noticed that this dude has the exact same screenshot of his bank account as the other dude. Oh, what the f man, I know I shouldn't have been to the man, what the f bro, bro told me tap in, bro. Bro said he got the job a day before the f grab, bro was like, yo, 50 tap in, bro hook you up. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. I'm like, I bet this is my only f bro, my only mo account, bro, and they gonna whack this. Bro, the f all right, so the f man, what y'all need to do, man? Y'all follow me, y'all make this shit go viral, man. This chase glitch, don't do this, shit, man. Y'all don't do this, y'all save y'all account, get your money. Otherwise, man, this, this sell. Bow, don't do it. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, I'm out. So one of them might be real, or we're just seeing multiple people just LARPing as self-inflicted victims. And then you had this guy with an alleged negative 40 grand balance. Man, they really told me to tap in. Next day I was supposed to clear and look at my account, yo. Bro, what the? <sighs> this one seems the fakest out of all of them because who just records themselves like just wiping their face aggressively? <sighs> oh, oh.
Like, it seems try hard. There's a lot of actual people that this happened to, but from what I'm seeing, there was so many videos of these people promoting it, and they're all getting wiped, unfortunately, before I could download them all. So these super viral videos of these people being really upset with massive negative balances, I'm guessing they're fake, but I did find some videos that didn't go super viral. So I wouldn't be surprised if these super viral videos that are still up are probably fake because, I mean, who wants to snitch on themselves like that? Unfortunately, a lot of people, as we've actually covered on this channel here before. <laughs> but hey, I mean, at least there's a little bit of hope on TikTok. Y'all, I want to hit that Chase play so bad right now, bro. I'm seeing people, my close friends, going up 20, 30K, running it up on Chase. I see somebody just hit 90K on, on, on Twitter. But I just know if I hit that play, God going to use me to be the example. I just know he is. So let me just go ahead and praise him. <laughs> but then there's just so many others that just rip away what little hope I have. I can only hope that's a skit. What's the upside of posting that video? Bro, like, what you do, bro? Like, you, you said everything was a go, bro. Like, do you know how much trouble you got me? Look, like, they're calling me right now, bro. Okay, hold up. Okay, so this guy has a, a fake screenshot of a negative $99 billion balance. Let's go. But uh, speaking of snitching on yourselves, um, I found these two posts, which seem a little bit more real. As you see with the both of these screenshots, day one, $100. Day two, a whole lot more. But still, I'm trying to figure out why would anyone document themselves doing this? It just it doesn't make sense. The upside is what? Attention and clout. The downside is fraud charges. Like, hello? <laughs> But hey, I mean, I guess quick money, no matter the consequences, is attractive to some people. But people also have to remember, there is no such thing as free money, especially if it's a viral trend called the TikTok chase money glitch. That just sounds like a great way to get arrested. But then you have videos like this. Twins, twins, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even supposed to condone in this type of behavior due to the direction that I'm trying to project my life in. But that chase bait place looking too sweet right now, twins, no cap. I can just hit one Chase Blake play. I, I can buy so many Shabigs. Like, Twins is hitting for, for 30, 40 balls, 50 balls. Like, you know how many Shabigs that can get me? Thankfully, this guy was only talking about it, even though he was tempted. But his comments are just filled with people either claiming they've done this glitch or fishing for victims to try to, like, trick them into essentially scamming them. If you got Chase, let me know. Someone PMO. If you got Chase, let me know. How do you withdraw it all at once? PMO. Who, who got Chase? Let me know. I got Chase. Oh, no. That's bad news. I saw a lot of people were calling this kiting, but apparently this money glitch isn't kiting. Kiting is apparently when you open multiple bank accounts and you send various amounts of money to each bank account, and they essentially just keep paying each other off and you're essentially just i guess exploiting the latency of the banking system as the first account you deposit 100 you send the second account 200 dollars then you send the third account 300 dollars then the third account sends the fourth account 400 dollars and the fourth account sends the 400 back to the first account and then suddenly you have some money left over and then like three overdrafted accounts. But the crazy thing about, I guess, like advanced scams is it, it takes so much effort that you might as well just make money legally because then you don't have the downside and it's almost the same amount of effort. But the people who are trying to scam others in the comments here, I'm assuming is like some sort of advanced fee scam. And then you have this whole other scam going on in the midst of this, where if you access Chase ATMs with contactless, apparently the ATM doesn't close out from your account when you withdraw your cash. You have to click that you're finished on the pad. And apparently it's different from when you insert the card. Because when you insert the card, once you take the card out, you don't have access. When you do the contact list, you technically still have access because it's just a beat. So now you have people putting glue in the slots to where people insert their cards. So they have to use the contact list. And then they just walk after them and bank on the fact that they don't close out their bank account before they leave the ATM and then they would draw their own money from that person's account. The world of scamming is just an all around terrible place, but there is definitely some funny, uh, 
funny things coming from this. So here I have a tweet saying like yesterday, a glitch in Chase Bank's system allowed people to withdraw funds they weren't entitled to, prompting the bank to place a seven day hold on the affected accounts. As a consequence, Chase accounts holders who participated in this glitch are now dealing with massive negative balances as well as seven day hold on their accounts. And then they post this video, which has to be a skit. Kick the shaves, kick the shaves. We having a Chevy party later. Bring all the Chevy honors out. I don't even like posting my accomplishments in life. For all of they ain't want to give me they Chev. Eat a you up a hundred thousand. Everybody gonna eat tonight. Blue hundreds, blue cards. Like this is clearly a parody of the people doing the money glitch. Motion picture money right there. I was wondering if Chase responded to all this. So we have a New York Post article that says TikTokers are trying to exploit a Chase Bank glitch and discovering it comes at a huge cost. Experts say glitch videos look an awful lot like check fraud, one of the oldest scams in the book. Videos urging customers at the bank to take advantage of a glitch quickly took off online, prompting people to deposit fake checks for large sums of money. But Chase quickly fixed the bug and is clawing back any money doled out to people who didn't deserve it. A spokesperson for Chase Bank told the Post consumers should be skeptical if something seems too good to be true. It likely is. We are aware of this incident and it has been addressed. Regardless of what you see online, depositing a fraudulent check and withdrawing the funds from your account is fraud, plain and simple, the spokesperson added. But I mean, hey, at least we're getting some pretty entertaining skits out of all this. What's your sign say? You, you got Chase? You got Chase? That's a skit, right? That's a skit. But I mean, hey, at least no one here rammed a police officer with their wheelchair and lied about it on national TV like this guy did. And you can check out that story here because it is just insane. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.